Tonight's other big story, the Nebraska Board of Education debates whether to take more control over what should be in school libraries. Kirk Penner's proposal would ban sexually explicit content in schools, which could lose their accreditation for breaking the rules. As KETV News Watch 7's Aaron Hegarty reports, some of his colleagues are not on board. Aaron? The rule change would allow Nebraskans to challenge a school district's decision to keep a book in its libraries. The State Department of Education would decide if a school violated the policy. If so, the district could challenge and the elected board would have the final say. It would also require schools to keep a catalog online showing what's in the library. At no point should sexually explicit stuff be in the, in the schools, ever, but it is. Pete Rick gets appointee Kirk Penner argues the reasoning for his proposal is simple. While some of his colleagues on the Board of Education argue it takes local control away from school districts and leaves too much power for the state and board's interpretation. It's written very broadly and you can start to get to important material that students need to read, they need to understand, they need to learn about to be an educated society. Jacqueline Morrison said she fears the proposal could remove books like those important to her as a teen about topics like rape, power dynamics, and women's history. I believe all the topics you mentioned there, I think they can be brought up and discussed without them being sexually explicit. So Other than Cherry Jones, Penner didn't have much vocal support on the board. I was expecting actually some thoughts that, hey, that's a good idea to keep sexual con explicit content as defined out of our school libraries, and I only have one, and so I don't know what to do with that. Another board member took offense to that. It's about the rule and about the procedures that we already have in place in our schools with local boards. So to tell me that I don't care about what gets in the hands of students that are not mature enough to handle it bothers me. There was no vote today. That's set for the next meeting, March 8th. Back to you. Okay, we'll follow it, Aaron. Thank you so much.